Hello, this is Surfline Surf Forecast for Chris Moore with your Orange County Register Marine Forecast. This is brought to you by Buoy Weather. In the North Pacific, we have seen a steady increase in storm activity ever since we moved in the fall. That's definitely the case going on right now. Very healthy looking low, spinning under the Gulf of Alaska. That's going to send a lot of west front plus swell into northern and central California during the middle of this week. Here in Southern California, seen a smaller but still fun zone share of that west northwest swell showing up by the second half of the week. Here's what it looks like in the latest analysis. Got that low moving out of the Gulf of Alaska, steadily intensifying through the next 24 or 36 hours as the center of the storm heads towards the west coast of Canada. But cold front standing from that storm well into California. It doesn't look like we'll see any weather from this system at this point down here in Southern California, but we will see that west northwest swell on the rise by the second half of this week. Looks like a smaller west northwest swell lining up for this weekend and more to follow looks like next week too. If the forecast starts at right, keeping those storms moving on the Gulf of Alaska through at least the next several days and well into next week as well. Also, activity generated throughout the North Pacific right now, short to intermediate period stuff, mostly up in the upper latitudes, crown swell component of that, plenty of it aimed for northern and central California, smaller share of that swell showing up down here, second half of the week. In the tropics, not much brewing right now. We have cloud cover in the intertropical conversion zone, but nothing is organized, nothing pulling together, and nothing likely to pop for the next two days at least down there. South Pacific, very zonal flow in the southern hemisphere lately, and that's why we don't have much southwest swell activity in the water. Small one in the water on Tuesday, that's mostly need waist high with some pluses that fades during the middle of the week. Looks like another round of small scale south and southwest pulses scheduled for this weekend, but that's uh, need waist high at best at the surf uh, for the top spots. It's not much southwest swell activity out in the water through this week due to the zonal flow in the southern hemisphere going on now. Here's also activity generated in the South Pacific right now, west end to the east end. Here's the ground swell component of that. You can see there's not much out there, and that's why no much, it's not much south as well. West coast for the next couple of days, Orange County, not seeing much surf. Uh, we have that high off the coast, and that's going to keep winds on the light side. For the outer coastal waters, we're looking for westerly winds around 10 knots on Tuesday, holding into Wednesday, picking up a bit. More northwest wind by the second half of the week, though. We're looking for more 10 to 20 knot winds out there, and a northwest swell moving in more like 6 to 8 feet on Thursday and Friday. That does to taper off over the weekend. For the surf on the shore, small scale stuff on Tuesday, like need a waist high, top spot's doing a bit better. That tapers off a little bit more on Wednesday. Look for more fun waves as that west northwest swell moves in for more 2 to 4 foot surf at exposures on Thursday and Friday. Winds in the morning light, moderate on chores in the afternoon. Accepted here at 5 o'clock on Thursday.